What is with the pixels? What the hell? Oh, come Raptor, how did it all go with Ursa Luna? Yeah, help the dog. Thanks a bunch, fella, but how'd you find me all the way out here? To the potato mochi. My luck's run out though, as you can most likely tell. Did you crack your ankle? I got chased by a Pokemon and sprained my other. There we go. Ankle pretty bad as I was running away. I almost it's almost like the world wants me to punish me. <laughs> Where did you come from? Mistress Kalaba, I, I I didn't I owe you an apology. I treat you with disrespect. What have I ever done to make you treat me so disrespectful? Thinking you were just some whelp from the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry for that. I should have treated you better. Ha, wait, but... Shut up and accept my apology, you dumb bitch. You galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like, I'd like to learn even more from you, really. Whoa, where are you all these people coming from? Well, then we better get take care of our lady and get all this mess resolved first. What were you thinking, doing all this yourself? Did you think I couldn't help you? No, no one would blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader am I. I've never even seen Almighty Sin with my own eyes. And I fail to imagine that Lilligan might have become frenzied too. Listen up, calm raptor. Yeah. Onyx! I, I need this. I need an Onyx on my team. I wish I wasn't versing like three other people. That'd be great. No, no, no. No, I didn't decide. Don't take his stats away, mate. Good. I didn't decide. Oh, fuck me. I decided to check the stats is what I decided. I didn't decide to fucking run away. I just want this Onyx. Good. We did it! We did it! We did it! Yay! Alright, get stuck in this ball for the rest of your life because you're never coming out. I guarantee. I will never let you out. Alright, well, it's stuck there forever. <laughs> yeah! I'll find my way up there. It's all good. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, I'll glitch it if I have to. <laughs> so it's all good. We dear will get up there. Don't you worry. Come on, we dear. Me and you to the end. Much, much, much later. You laugh at me, but just fucking wait. Just you wait. Yeah, you fucking laugh all you want. Honestly, I was 100% sure that that was not going to work. But hey, here we are. And I made my way up. Oh, oh. I was going to say having to always battle to get a Pokemon. <gasps> oh, there's that wood one. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry about that. Uh, there's... Um, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know his name, but I'm totally getting it. Yes, Sudawudu, that's it, Sudawudu. Sudawudu, Sudawudu. Yeah, run who you want, bitch. Ain't gonna make a difference. I don't know what you're talking about. You're just chilling and minding your own business. But then I come in and fuck you up with a bomb. You come back, you little bitch. <laughs> oh, that just went flying. <laughs> That's why they call it a feather ball. That's honey, mate. A heavy ball sucks ass. Are you? Fuck off. Oh my god. Heavy balls can't be thrown far. Whatever. Have a lightning fang up the dick. How's it going? I had a glitch up a mountain to get here. So you've come. I take it that means you're ready? Yes. Wait. Let me revive. Fuck! Lady Lilligan's a sight to see. Even in her frenzy, behold her and be grateful. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. Oh, uh, I don't check who's talking. 100% I'm confident they made that portal in the back, like, present in every cutscene, pretty much. Just, like, they did different angles to make sure that that's in every cutscene. What'd you say? I, I can't hear you. What'd you say? Sorry? I can't hear you. It's because I'm skipping. <laughs> skipping. I'm just getting into it. Let me get into it. Let me do it my way. I may fail, but I know I'll win in the end. And I'll feel better doing it. Because I didn't listen to some bullshit guide. Uh, hello, speedy girl. How are you going? Oh, she is stunning. That move would not work. That would crack someone's leg off. Oh, oh. She's going to kill me. Correct! Lady of the Ridge, Lilligant. Lilligant, Lilligant. I gotta stop her from being frenzied. This is gonna be shit. Holy shit! My girl's over here doing slam dunks on me. Woo, boy. Woo! See his face? Can you just freeze frame my face then? <laughs> the character's face. 
Boo! Oh, fuck, I got hit. Oh, shit! Yeah, like, the game's like, hey, you've dodged every attack up to now, but here's just a little hint how to dodge attacks. Halfway, 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 halfway. Let's go, let's go. Come on, my fucking fingers hurting from pressing R2. What a ZR. Fuck it, Nintendo. Yeah, it's cool. Kill me. Lovely. Whoosh. Bing! You are now healed, Lady of the Bridge. Or what was it? I already... Hmm, yes. Lilligant. Oh, that is a pretty Pokemon. It's pretty. Level up. Ah, oh, yeah! Oh! Luxy, I can evolve! Fuck yes. Thank you, child. You have helped me become better. You received the meadow plate from Lilligan. Cool. Hey, thanks. <laughs> you didn't just save Lilligan. You saved a reason as well. I appreciate it. First of all, Solana, now Lilligan, you're amazing. You know what? Being your friends, you didn't suit Lilligan one bit. I'm so happy she's back to being a grateful self. Lily, Lily, Lily. Arizu, you still are. <laughs> I was talking as him with the Lilligan's voice. Oh, don't worry about it. A young Weloko is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written in the Selassie Ruins. All lives touch another life to create something anew and alive. Thanks. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Kalaba wrapped all that up so nicely. <laughs> You're a dumb bitch! Listen, you know me. I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinner, the rule of time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear. Oh my god, here he goes. And he starts monologuing. You sly dog! You got me monologuing! You're a real wonder, thanks, Volo. I saw light disappearing into the space-time rift. Quote another frenzy Pokemon, have you? Yes. That's exactly. Can you stop following me, you creep? We still don't know what's causing lightning that frenzies these Pokemon, but you, you just go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. You might even change the entire course of history here in Hisui. And I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. So let's stay in touch, friend. Stop following me, you creep. There you are. You're the one, right? The one they've all been talking. Yes, it's, it's me. Come, master. Come, master. <laughs> come, raptor. So you successfully calmed Lilligant. Yes. Excellent. There may well be times when the galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time, then frenzies are induced by a stranger lightning. Light likewise falls from the series for the same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning, isn't that right? There you go, piping hot potato mochi fresh from the stove! I have nothing else I can do in my life, apparently. Now this is the life, eh? Enjoying potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? I don't disagree, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? These people have just arrived here in Hisaway. They will live together with the- Oh, there's not enough space for more people. Come on, dude. Either make more houses or fucking send them away. When we of the Galaxy Team first arrived in this land, we came ashore at Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. Yes, it's where my game began. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield than the Crimson Midlands, much farther, and the path is long and tiring. You must be at least a third star. Yeah, that's why I've been trying to go and get Pokemon, but you keep slamming with your story and cutscenes. I've been trying for 15 minutes. Oh, some bit, some other people have fallen off this cliff before. I see. <laughs> I see what's happening here. Someone else fell off this cliff. Surprise, motherfucker! Where? Where the hell did he come from? Get the fuck out of here. Come on. This heavy ball is gonna be a fucking bitch to throw. Uh, it's not gonna take. Look at him. Alright, let's fight. Alright, let's fight the dog. Shut up! 12 seconds later. Uh... What? The fuck was that? What what the fuck was that? What the actual hell was that, mate? With this, you officially attained the rank of third star in the Galaxy Expedition team. You can now use great balls. What do you mean now? Pokemon what? Pokemon up to level 40 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now too. If it isn't come Raptor from Leon. Oh, this dude. Though I suppose it's expected that I run into the village. What? Where are we going to study Pokemon next? 
Oh, the Cobra coastline. Pauline is certainly in a bit of situation there. She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, not to her face, though. It's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Close your mouth. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands, a simply lovely corner, Hisawai, seeing the sky as far as the eyes can see. But what kind of Pokemon away to see? I wonder, water types or flying types, perhaps? Ooh, I simply can't wait to study them all. Luxie, main man, come on. Here we go. I'm so excited. Yes! Oh, look at the legend. Luxray. Jet Ray. Jet Ray! That was Ben Tennyson. Him and me are like this. Way back. You play that on drums too, or just this? That's actually very pretty. I like this song. You done? I'm gonna fucking wreck you. Come on, Luxray. Oh shit. Evie, hold on! Oh, wrecked. It's not very effective as it takes out half my health. I love that. Actually, that's gonna just die from burning. I should flame wheel this little thing. Yeah, thanks for instantly lowering my stats as soon as I come into the battle. Get burnt, you shit. He's looking at me like, do you want, do you want to attack me? Do you want to attack him? Well, what's going on? Uh, another one for him. Graveler, so I can level Graveler up again. All right. Yeah, like this is gonna do anything to me. Dude, I can look at you and I'll kill you, ready? All right, no, stop there. Oh, that was horrible. Ah, oh, now I feel better. The world is vast and I'm small within it. Did you like that? Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. Yes, please. I like how it fades to black so they just don't have to do anything and it's like, oh yeah, they, they healed it while it was black. All right, with you, I think with you I can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader of your com of, or your commander, but in truth, I sometimes wonder how I ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Polina. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say, Polina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We are both running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after her into a true heir to her his father, the late lord. Um, quick, 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 quick. Yep, right here, but all right. The outline looks absolutely horrible. Look at this outline. It looks so bad. What's going on here? Yeah, fuck you. Hello. Growlith, 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 Growlith! What's happening here? Right, 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 right. Hush now, settle now. I'm Paulina of the Pearl Clan, and who might you be? Ah, so you're the child that... <laughs> She's about to say it, here we go. I heard you ate a cleaver and Lilligan when none other could help quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. Oh, thanks. So what brings you to Cobalt Coastlands? We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. I have no doubt this little one has potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. The, fucking hell, this went dark. This whole game is dark. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to Coastlands? I'm making waffles. A survey of Firepit Island, I see. There are rumors the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. Known as the Bascula Gene. If you want to... Wait, what? Okay. You should speak to Isken, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. So I gotta get a fucking fish. Oh, it's that stupid light that that girl tried to t told me to get. Might as well get it on me. There's another one over there. Why are you here again? Stop following me! Why, hello there, Mr. Gumrap. The fancy running into you here. Me? Oh, I'm on the hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunter going, young friend? No need to be humble. I see you've already got your hands on four plates. You gain plates when you quell fancy nobles. Oh, that plate. Okay. 
The way you've been collecting those plates reminds me of the ancient hero, the one that said to a battle against almighty Sinnoh. You know, I've been wondering, these ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, the palace is supposed to come from Almighty Sinnoh itself. Why would they seek to challenge Almighty Sinnoh along with the hero then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates. I bet you fucking get it in my face. <laughs>